We've been a little um, kind of down a little bit about uh, uh, slightly, slightly depressed a little bit. Uh, I'm sure the rest of you have been too. It's we both have thoughts of leaving When thoughts get thrown around But we keep going on believing And on and on to we're all cried out Cause we don't feel like throwing it all away Bria? Reading a book and pretending that I'm in the beach relaxing. Dig, dig, green towel. Travel. Travel. Oh, great. Well, you got yourself your hammock now, right? Yeah. Now yes, because she's been jealous because I make a hammock for Bryson last two weeks ago. And now she wants to get into Bryson's hammock, but it's so tiny, she can't fit in there. So I have to make her one right here. <laughs> She's Off a table, it. huh? <laughs> the table. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're glad you're comfortable. Do you mind if we do a video for cooking? Yeah. Something? All right, let's go. Hey everybody, it's nice to see you guys again. It's been a little bit, about a week or so since we uploaded a video, but we've been a little um, kind of down a little bit about, uh, uh, slightly, slightly depressed a little bit. Uh, I'm sure the rest of you have been too. It's, depending where you are in the world, it's really, really rough uh, being self-quarantined uh, or mandatory stay-at-home uh, uh, orders imposed upon you. Uh, not quite that bad, but getting bad over here in Florida too, Palm Harbor. So best way to forget all about that is just to have, have a nice meal, do some cooking, and uh, try to, um, to see what the government's going to sort out uh, what's going on with this this virus. So let's just do some cooking, forget about it, and uh, try not to talk about it because uh, we all have our own thoughts about it. Here it is today, we're gonna have a seafood platter. Simple, in one pan, one pan, so you don't have to mess up, you know, your whole kitchen. Um, and let's get started right now, I'll show you. So here's the ingredients that John's going to use it tonight. Asparagus, salt, black pepper, lemon, bell pepper, cilantro, shrimp, chili pepper, basil, garlic, olive oil, sea scallop, butter. Beautiful little scallops. Lovely little creation God made. Love you guys. Mm. They're my new best friend. You'll see why they're so good. Of course, if you eat scallops, you already know that. Okay, a little seasoning, nice little pepper on this side, pepper and salt both sides of course. I'm not going to use quite all this but that's about, th uh, that's about four tablespoons right there. Let's get it up to heat before we start, get it nice and hot. This pan is perfect size for just putting uh, eight in there and it won't crowd the pan. It should be just about perfect because it'll be good for the second half of this dish, the seafood platter when we add, uh, make the shrimp. We're gonna make the shrimp uh, separately but in the same pan with a lot of the same seasonings. So it should be uh, very good, quick, easy, and tasty. Hey everybody, that's amazing. That is if my wife made rice. Did you make rice? Oh yeah, I already did. Is it fresh? fresh. Like, jasmine? Yeah, jasmine rice, one hour ago, still hot. Okay, then I think we uh, have a good chance of making this work. And we got to make this video today with Bryson, uh, the Playland over here. <laughs> Are you guys having fun playing while we're trying to do a video? <laughs> Ooh. I'm going to go in a clockwise direction because this is the perfect way to make it if you go clockwise. If you put them on counterclockwise, it just doesn't work, right? Are you crazy? Come on. You can go counterclockwise. And if you want to, you can put one right in the middle just for fun. Be ready to flip those little scallops in just a minute. All right, that's ready to go. The lemons are ready to go. 
and the garlic is ready to go. I cut it up about this size. The reason I cut it up a little bit thicker and didn't mince it is because we're going to use this garlic for the second half of the dish. That's the main thing. So we got to keep it thick so it doesn't burn and turn into nothingness. Let's get some butter on here. Put in the basil. Mm. And let's put in the garlic. We're going to add some lemon. Get that lemon flavor in there. Can't finish off this dish without some lemon. Tell me that ain't good food right there. Now here I'm just going to turn it off. Okay. Just let it sit there for a minute and rest with the flavors. Okay. And then I'm going to pull it off. All right, let's get these off. Okay, you got the rice. Okay guys, I'm going to add a little bit more virgin olive oil. Getting a lot of shrimp here. Another four tablespoons total there. Okay. So we still got the lemon, the garlic, the olive oil, uh, some basil left in here. So uh, let's see how the shrimp likes that. Okay shrimps, look at this. Peeled and divined. Have to dry a little bit. Not too wet. Okay, now I'm going to add cilantro uh, to this because I have cilantro, a lot of it, and I need to use it up. I could use anything for this. Uh, basil would have been good too. But let's use this up. I'm not going to get fussy with it. I'm just going to put it in. For the flavoring. You can cut it up if you want to. I'll probably pull it out. These will be ready in just a second. Let me just cover it for a second. Now that's a nice looking broth right there. Very nice looking broth. We've actually got some dipping sauce for this, but this is, I don't think we need any dipping sauce for this. Not really. No. No. It's already have juice in it. Yeah. That's for tempura shrimp only, the dipping sauce. Good thing I have a little bit more olive oil to the asparagus. Okay. There we go. Let's get this back on and finish off our meal for the evening. Let's just throw this asparagus on there. You guys know asparagus is only about three or four minutes. That's about it. And I'm gonna cover that. That's it, let's eat. Simple dish, pretty much. The only way to know for sure is to give it a little taste test. So let's try. Try one of these asparagus. Look like they're a little overcooked. Are they okay? A little bit overcooked? No, it's perfect. <laughs> Play scallop. This one is my favorite, the scallop. Mm. Is that good, overcooked? Very good. No, just very good, juicy. I'll try a shrimp. 
Mm. Good. Is that good? The shrimp has a little bit of a kick to it with that chili uh, flakes in there. Mm. Very good. Mm. Hope you guys enjoy this one and hope you guys are able to get to the market to buy this kind of food or something like it. God bless you guys. Talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye. later. Peekaboo! <laughs> Where is Bryson? Peekaboo! Buddy, what are you doing in there? Are you relaxing? Let's go. Wait. Oh my goodness.